what does it look like really to wait for hunger? This practice is actually going to give you more time in your life. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Andrea Christian Parks and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We are in the thick of this, this whole new series that we're doing. We're calling Focus on Hunger. And this week we are talking about how. Now I know a lot of you all are like, all right, let's, let's, let's get into it. Like what, what do I have to do? How do I get this moving? We're going to get in that this week. Now, before I forget, because I keep forgetting and I put it at the end, but I'm going to put it in the beginning now. I want you to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That way, as the numbers go up, more and more people find this information and you have all of the videos, all of the episodes, all of the information for all of this help that I've been creating over the course of the, the years. And if you hit your notifications, every time a new one of these comes out, you'll get a little ping on your phone. Also, if you like to read, if you prefer reading, you're looking at the, the videos, this is great, we get to see each other, but if you want to read, go to my blog, ajourneytowholeness.com, and I'm mirroring what I'm doing here on this episode with what I'm writing about so that you can get a different kind of take on the same information. Reinforcement helps the practice. So. What are we doing? How are we supposed to wait for hunger? How are we doing it? I mean, we have lives, we're busy, we have routines. So what does it look like really to wait for hunger? So let me, let me give you a little secret. This practice is actually going to give you more time in your life. If you are used to getting up, you have to, you know, make the breakfast, you have to eat the breakfast, you have to clean up after the breakfast, and you're not hungry really in the morning for breakfast, you just think, well, they, 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 the infamous they, they say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If I don't eat breakfast, my metabolism is going to tank. I have to eat. I'm just not really hungry, but I got to do it. No, you don't. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Skip breakfast. I promise you it's not going to ruin your metabolism. It is not going to make any difference. This whole concept of eating every few hours or getting the metabolism revving in the morning actually is false. It, the, the amount of energy that your body has to crank up to digest a meal does not outweigh the amount of calories that you end up putting in the machine, the body. So it's just not worth it. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Okay. Period. So what that looks like is you might get up in the morning and you've got your morning routine. You've got to get ready for work. You got to get ready to get the kids out of, out the door. You get to skip that whole step of, I have to eat. I have to stop what I'm doing, sit down, and then I have to wash the stuff and put the things in the dishwasher and clean up and put the food away. You can skip the whole thing. Keep it moving. So then you're on your way to work or getting ready to sit down. You are ahead of the game because you've saved yourself some time. And now you're cranking away, you're doing your thing and you're busy. Okay, that's one way to wait. Keep yourself occupied. But let's say that you are working from home, the kitchen is right behind you and you're working away and your brain keeps saying, oh, but you didn't have breakfast. You should probably have something. And what, don't you want something to eat? You could just go get some 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 something to drink or you know you could have a some crackers or whatever so your brain is gonna say something's wrong you're not doing the routine brain likes routine so if you violate the routine then your brain's gonna kick up a fuss that's okay it just doesn't know any better it's fine just keep it moving just reassure yourself i'm fine now you want to have something hot tea a cup of coffee hot water, whatever you like, or if you don't like hot stuff, that's fine. I will tell you just a little trick. The warm stuff tends to soothe the stomach and keep it kind of calm. And then when the, the hunger signals come, it's easy to identify. But you could just drink water. 
or or um, iced tea or something, just not something with sugar in it because that will blunt the hunger and you won't you won't feel real hunger. As long as you're putting in calories, the body will will work on them and it won't feel hunger. Okay. So when you wait for hunger, we do not snack. We do not drink sugary drinks. We don't have soda. I mean, you could have diet soda or seltzer. I don't care about bubbles, but it's the, the syrup or the sugar that's in the drink. We don't put any of that in there. Okay. Yes. You can use monk fruit, stevia, um, equal. If you're using any of those sorts of things, I know that there's discussions about all that. We can have a whole conversation on artificial sweeteners separate from this conversation. But for now, that will not affect hunger necessarily. Not like sugar. So while you are waiting, you can drink. Just don't put in anything that will sweeten the drinks. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it. My stomach is rumbling away because I am hungry. I made sure to record these videos while I was hungry to make sure I can communicate what it feels like, how you wait. I'm not miserable. I know I'm hungry. It's fine. When I'm done, I'm going to go get some tea. And depending on what time it is and if I'm ready to eat, take a break, I will. If I'm not, I'm not, not a problem. So how do you check? We talked about in the last episode about waiting for true stomach hunger and making sure that what was prompting wanting to eat was true physical stomach hunger and not emotional stuff, not um, stress or um, fatigue or dehydration or anything like that. And so you're well hydrated, you're hanging out, you think you're hungry. Now, the question is, how hungry? How hungry do I need to be to eat? This is where the tool of the hunger scale comes in. The hunger scale, I want you to imagine, goes from a minus 10 to a plus 10 with zero in the middle being neutral. Everything on the minus side is the hunger side. Everything on the plus side is the full side. Now, I'm not gonna get into too much about fullness, but suffice it to say, the rule on fullness is you stop when you are politely full. And politely full means about a plus four on the hunger scale. I can get up. I can walk around the block. I feel light. I feel energetic. The hunger is gone. I feel comfortable. But I don't need to loosen my pants, put on a pair of sweats, lay on the couch. None of that. Okay? Any of that's too far on the fullness scale. So, but we're talking about hunger, so let's get to where we're at with that. Hunger is gonna come in the waves I talked about in the last episode. It's just gonna kinda come and, and kinda, hey, I'm hungry, kinda tap you on the shoulder. Hey, I'd like to eat. And it'll come at a minus one, at just about a minus one. It will be like, mm, no, no, maybe, maybe I'm hungry. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I'm hungry drink some water, you wait and say, I'm not sure if I'm really hungry or not, it'll come back. It'll come back at a minus two. I think I am maybe actually hungry. Okay. Um, but you know, right now I'm busy. I'm working. I, I got some stuff to do. It's not really convenient. Not a problem. That minus two will float into the background. Your body will take a little, little snack from your storage, burn up a little bit of fat, keep it moving. Now, when you get to about a minus four, a minus four is, I am hungry, I'm not going to die, I'm not starving, I'm not miserable, but I'm ready to eat. It's time to eat, and I am going to eat now. So, hunger at a minus four is not, I could eat my arm if presented to me, or I could eat everything in the pantry, I could eat dry bread if that's what's on the counter it that's too hungry that's that's going out there minus six minus seven like that's too far a minus four is i'm ready to eat i know i'm hungry i am empty it's time to eat and i can prepare the food and not like stand in front of the microwave eating as i'm putting food in. like don't do that make your whole plate sit down enjoy the meal. You waited for it. 
and the first couple of bites are going to taste the best anyway. So you want to absolutely experience that and not be snacking your way into your meal. So you're trying to go to a minus four on a hunger scale, and that's how you check to be sure you're where you need to be to actually eat. Then whatever your plan is, now that, that takes us back into the Fresh Start series. And if you didn't see that, go on back to that series and watch the, the, the episode about um, making your plan, okay? So if you've planned, and the plan for lunch is a, a big salad with um, hard-boiled egg and some, um, some avocado, and however you've decided to put it, and your dressing and your, um, your little um, crumbles on top and whatever it is that you're doing, Great, sit down, enjoy it, eat to a plus four, whatever's not eaten, throw it away, put it away for later, do whatever you gotta do, but put it away and have enjoyed your wonderful meal. You you waited, you served your body, you are gonna still lose weight having enjoyed your wonderful salad because you did it for the reason that your body needed, which was fuel. And now you're done. No more food until the next minus four shows up. And you don't, you cannot imagine how much time you're about to look, gain from not snacking and grazing and thinking about food and eating food and just whatever the plan is for dinner, whenever that minus four comes for dinner, that's when you're going to eat. Now, it may take you a little tweaking, a little bit of practice to get to a place where, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting those minus fours at the time I also want to eat. So I want to eat dinner with the family at six. I need to be in minus four at six. It'll take you a little bit of practice to eat the right amount at, at your lunch meal so that at six o'clock you're ready for dinner. That's just practice. That's just tweaking. If you find I ate lunch at noon and I'm really like I'm a minus four at four o'clock. Okay. Then we need to add a little bit more, maybe an avocado or an extra little piece of chicken, something onto your lunch meal so that preferably a little bit more fat, um, healthy fat to push you a little further so that you're not hungry so soon. Maybe you're not getting enough at your lunch. So it's a practice. It's, it's a experiment. And really you're the only one who knows how to make it work for your body because you're living in it, you're experiencing it and you're gonna make it right. So, all that is to say, I am here to help. If you have questions, if you have, you know, hey, can you troubleshoot this with me? Make some comments. I'm happy to answer questions here, okay? I am here to help. So, here's what I wanted to remind you of. If you want to work with me, this is the time. Let's get your consultation set up. I want you to email me at drandreachristianparks at gmail.com and we'll sit down for an hour, a free hour just for you to get you moving and decide if we're going to work together. Okay. If what you're looking for is one-on-one -on -one coaching, I want you to get what you want. All right. So I will see you in one more week. We're going to get into difficulties, challenges struggles, any of that stuff that might have come up over the course of these past um, few weeks while we're focusing on hunger. I will see you 